Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 22. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here for the first ever event where we're going to be taking a race car for this one. Uh, this is the Seat Club, where we can take any Seat vehicle limited to B500, pretty much. Uh, and I'm going to be taking a race car, the Seat Leon SC. I don't know what SC stands for, because it doesn't have safety car lights, so it can't be safety car. But... Anyways, we're taking it. We're starting with the Ladera test track, moving on to Circuit de Catalunya, Sakuba Circuit, and finishing off with Silverstone. All right, here we go. Here's our race, Seat. Oh. Oh, there's other racing Seats as well, so. I'm definitely not an odd one out for picking it. I thought I'd be the odd one out, to be perfectly honest. Actually quite a nice car to drive, I'll be honest. A lovely car to drive. It's got that uh, single exhaust pipe out the back as well. I'm still waiting to hear an engine in this game that genuinely makes me just go, wow. So much so, I'm tempted to buy that McLaren F1, but I want to leave it till like the very end. Because that McLaren F1 that we drove in Motorsport 2 was phenomenal. That was the best sounding engine noise ever. It was stunning. Oh, I didn't slow down quick enough. There we go. My headphones are struggling to stay connected. Not bad.
Here we go. This thing's acceleration is surprisingly slow for what it is, but its handling performance is so much better. Which I think is why it's it's a B car. Probably. Maybe. Anyway, it's not bad. We've got eight grand. Uh, we're level one, so we've got a 10% discount on driveline upgrades by Say It Sport. All right, here we go. I believe this is Catalonia we're on now. Yes, it is. That answers, answers my theory. I'm not going to lie, though. That red version of this car looks really nice. Could do with one of them. That little uh, additional power boost really does help. Just gives it that little bit of oomph. Now, I'm not going to lie, I am not a fan of this track. Too bad, that's one lap down. There we go. Flowing nicely through that uh, hairpin there. There we go. Is this a golden rule? Golden rule. <laughs> ah. Oh, my God. Jesus. Woo. One, two, three. 
one class death meddler. Looking for a reason to more secure for emotion. Not bad, so we got up to level two now. We got 10% discount on air filter upgrades by ITG Europe. I will admit, Max Verstappen is not that bad of a guy. Himself as a driver, he's a talented driver. He's a really good bloke. There are obviously moments that he has his arsiness, but so does Lewis, so does any other driver. The problem is his dad, Jos Verstappen, is an absolute knob. He's one of the worst people you could ever meet. He's nasty. Even when it came, he did an interview with Dirtfish because he went into the Ypres rally, which, by the way, was fucking funny because he crashed out and I thought, calm as a bitch. But uh, when, um, when he did the interview, when Jos Verstappen did the interview, he just had a lot of cocky comments and complaints about his co-driver. Which, like, as a driver in WRC, you never do that. You work as a team, and majority of the time, if there's a problem with what the co-driver has, that's normally done by the driver. So, you know. As for Christian Horner, I don't think he's too bad of the problem. I think he's just... Again, I think Christian Horner's in the same boat as Max. Where he's not that bad of a guy. He can have his dickish moments, but so can Toto Wolf, so can everyone else. I think the problem is he's got Jos Verstappen down on his back. Um, and he's also got Helmut Marco on his back. I'll be honest, Helmut Marco is an absolute knob as well. He's got no clue how Formula One works. The funny thing is, as soon as Red Bull gets rid of Helmut Marco, that team will function so much better and people will enjoy that team a lot more. We're not going that way. We're going this way this time. <laughs> I think we've only done like two or three races around the full circuit. The rest of them have all been on the short circuit. So that's why I went the wrong way. Looking good. Not bad. Woohoo! 
7,500. We got 10% discount on front anti roll bars and rear anti roll bars by H and R Europe. Woohoo! Here we go. I really love the look of that red Cupra. It's not a Cupra, it's a Leon, isn't it? So bad, it has less than 500 horsepower. It's very heavy with a W12 engine. Yeah, that's a bit, uh, a bit useless. But then again, you would think a W12 would be lighter because of the fact that the amount of metal needed isn't as much, mathematically speaking. Not bad. I can't remember if this is the last race or not, to be honest. I think it is. Because then we move on to the uh, Ford track days after this. The day is my enemy. It could have been the safety car. Uh... I do wish that uh, Mercedes would bring back the SLS safety car or a car similar to the SLS because the AMG GT just isn't the right successor to the SLS. The SLS was a wide and flat car and then they just made it, made a coupe as the successor. They need to make an actual successor to the SLS. There's a reason people love that, because it stood out. It's a one-of-a-kind car. It was basically an SLR, but smaller. A sports version of it. People loved that shape of the car. Mercedes just was like, nah, we'll make a new one. Down. Get, get down, 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 down. Not bad. Yeah, that one with the V10s was a very good edit. I will be honest. Um, the thing is, there is a quite easy possibility for Formula 1 to come back to a V10 era. To bring back the V12, the V10, the V8, whichever one people prefer. I think it was the V10 that was the best. We could quite easily go back to that if we just use sustainable fuels. We don't even have to have the hybrid system. We can go run the old Formula 1 cars with the really loud engines by using what WRC uses as sustainable fuel. Because all the carbon that the cars produce in WRC is pretty much extracted to make the fuel. So mathematically speaking, it is net neutral.
And there we go. We got 11 grand for that. Not bad. All right, so we're here for some Ford track days. Uh, we're taking the Ford GT for this one. Starting off with New York, moving on to Sunset Peninsula, Camino Valle de Montserrat, and then Road Atlanta. Let's go. All right, here we go. Same max horsepower as modern V6 is. Didn't have to worry about ERS or KRS, just fuel. Um, see, here's the thing. Now we don't have to worry about fuel. The, uh, the Formula 1 drivers, they haven't had to worry about fuel levels for a while. Uh, I think for the past three years now. Because they're all stuck to one engine map, so they can't really worry about fuel that much so yeah the only thing they really worry about is their um, energy recovery systems and stuff like that I still think they should go back to uh, refueling the cars midway through the race and having a smaller fuel tank because that genuinely would make it more exciting Having fuel strategy as well as um, tire strategies is ideal. Especially if it's a two-stop. They can really mix the strategies up between teams. The only thing that would happen if they did that would be that Ferrari would become a... Um, bottom tier team they would be back of the pack because <laughs> their strategist would mess everything up ah oh, fuck We've spun the car lads a Hollywood treasure I love you just the way you are cinema cinema Star spell out your name. Oh, the way that that car just flowed through those corners then. Nope. <laughs> Didn't quite make it. <laughs> I was trying. Watch you forever. I've still hit it. Not as dramatically, but I still hit it. Car doesn't look touched. Oh, never mind. Oh, that engine sounds good. Not bad. Keep it going, keep it going. I could watch you forever. Now that is how you do it. And there is the finish line. Ta-da! Take that reward, 6,200 credits. We're up to level 33 and level one. So we got a Porsche 45 Flying Lizard 911 GT3 RSR. And a 40% discount on ignition upgrades by MSD. Should be LSD. Haha, <laughs> drugs. Don't do drugs, kids.
This is still one of the older Porsche race cars, isn't it? From 2004. Not a fan. Not a fan. I'll pass, thank you. Alright, here we go. Sunset Peninsula. Oh fuck! What's that noise? Confusion sustained. <laughs> So this is probably the fastest we're going to get in this car for this championship. So let's push it, see how fast we can get it. Scouting now on um, you can't forget all future plans. Set sail from since Brown. I think this is in uh Gran Turismo Prologue. Bop. What a thud. Hundred and sixty five miles an hour. Not bad. Ruins or relics, disciples and the young. Ugh. Right, one more lap to go. We're going to slow down a little bit for this one. Is that a little Ford Fiesta I see there? It is! Bye bye Fiesta. Meow. Ho ho ho! That was smooth! I'm so glad I captured that. The car just went and just narrowly avoided hitting that wall then.
We got 8,100. My AI is now battling with the Fiesta again. Uh, we now have a 40% discount on oil and cooling upgrades by Cosworth. Woohoo! All right, here we go. Another race. I love the Ford GT so much. This is like what I call a muscle supercar. It's got so much muscle her heritage that it's it's got the quirks of a muscle car, but it actually still has relatively decent performance, like quarter in performance and stuff like that. Oh, come on, come on, get around the corner. There we go, not bad. Two more laps to go. Oh, this is gorillas. I forgot gorillas were on this playlist. I added them. Mm -hmm. 
lovely, lovely band. Yeah, let's continue. We got nine grand for that one. We got a 40% discount on front anti roll bars and rear anti roll bars by Hotchkiss. Nice. Holy crap. This song is quieter, so I actually got to hear that engine. Holy fuck, that was nice. Let's see if we can get some drift points, shall we? No drift points. Come on, let's get some drift points. I want some drift points. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Rich now. Call your name, but you're not around. So I need to decide after today's stream whether I'm going to carry on with the uh, amateur events and then come back to the rest of the manufacturer events or whether I'm going to do the rest of the manufacturer first and then do the amateur and then continue from there. She was on my side, and there was nobody by my side. I need you right now. I love the telemetry menus in these games. The fact that you can see vehicle telemetry is just amazing. Especially when you can get like advanced additional telemetry like this. I need you right now. Don't let me, don't let me, don't let me down. This playlist is getting better and better every stream. Every stream that we join, the, the tracks are better. Every single time. And I'm glad. Alright, not bad. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.